Let's make a margarita. Come cocktail him with me. The margarita for me holds a certain allure. It's like a holiday drink. I know that I'm saving myself for the good times that will ensue. What can I say about the margarita? <laughs> the margarita begins with a little salt and it ends at 4 a.m. with a whole lot of sweat. <laughs> I like the margarita a little less traditional. We're gonna add some Italian bitterness to our Mexican cocktail. Before I start making a mess, it's time to bring out our trusty kitchen towel and in one fell swoop, I Raja Mol. We're gonna start with an agave. We're gonna start with a tequila. I've been really liking this uh, tequila ocho. You can use any tequila that you really love, reposado, more aged, tequila is totally great, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go silver today. We're gonna go silver today. So two ounces of our tequila. One ounce of a aperitivo of choice. Pick any aperitivo that you really like. Uh, aperitivo Select, you can use one of my favorites, Facha Bruto. Uh, there are so many to choose from these days. Uh, in this case, I'm using the Damante Aperitivo. We're gonna go with one ounce of this. As I'm ought to do, I tend to add Italian bitterness to the proceedings. And the Aperitivo is going to really replace that orange liqueur like a Cointreau. It's juice time. This is my great-grandmother's juice in that from the 1940s. What the orange liqueur, of course, adds is orange. And to approach some of that orangeness, we're gonna do the juice of half an orange. Make sure you get all those juices out. It's a good workout. Ooh, yeah. And also the juice of full lime. And again, my little technique for getting the most juice out of the citrus is just doing this, rubbing your palm across the citrus. All the juice here. Lime juice is traditional to a margarita, so I don't totally balk at tradition. Juice of a whole lime. And with that lime that you just sliced, you're just gonna rim your glass with that lime. Said glass, and get some salt. I like coarse sea salt. Where are my course people at out there? What up, course fam? Now it's time for some ice. You wanna add the ice at the end. Thank you, Matt Owens, for that bit of information. And time to shake. Shake it until your hands start to freeze. Into our salt-rimmed rocks glass goes more ice. Be careful when you're pouring your drink into the rocks glass not to disturb the salt rim. So we're gonna try and aim right for the center. Let's see if I can pull it off. I'm notoriously clumsy. Let's see what I can do here. Ooh, look at that color, right? I think we did pretty well there. It's time for more garnish. Spread our lime by his legs and gently, lovingly, add him to the side of glass. But even after all that, we are not done. Two dashes of orange bitters. And maybe you could throw a couple drops. Para buena suerte. And that is our drink. Cheers. We only made one this time. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> that is really good. <laughs>